So how come you got into printing? What kind of... Um, what got me into printing? I guess because I'm, I was doing graphic design before that and it's such, it's kind of a boring process, like, you know, just sitting at your computer. Yeah. yeah. You never, and as a print designer, I'd occasionally get to see the designs that I did, but not, not that often. It's just about getting your hands dirty and, like, making mistakes and, um, I don't know, there's something about it. It's like, it's a very, very cool process. It just, That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. So in terms of kind of crafts, really, I suppose, and kind of... It's messy and it feels, yeah, it yeah. feels like you're actually doing something, as opposed to relinquishing your control and, and letting someone else print your, your flyers and stuff. I mean, I still do that, but when it comes to, you know, my own prints and, and you know, stuff for, like, gig posters and what have you, I like doing it myself. And I mean, a lot of screen printers, they get other screen printers to do it for them. So, like, not that many artists actually print their own right. stuff, which is kind of weird. It's such a great process, and you can layer stuff up. It's like, um, for example, this this is the transparency. That's what you'd use on that frame on over there. So you would, like, put that down, but back to front. And yeah. You'd expose light through the screen. And then once the um, screen was ready, you just take that off wash out the screen and then you've got oh, the I image on the actual screen. So it's amazing, it's really isn't it? Cool. Yeah. Um, it, it? The process hasn't changed, you know, no. since it was invented. It was apparently, um, screen printing was invented for during the Crusades when they wanted to, um, like a form of screen printing anyway, when they wanted to have the uniform flag on their shields. So they, they kind of, they wanted yeah, to yeah, more yeah. and have a uniform look, so they, they kind of invented this, this method. <laughs> See over here, they've got the letterpress, and you, newspapers used to be set up um, very, very meticulously with uh, people putting on the letters. Come have a look, I'll show you. So this is, um, I'll show you the I mean, these, this is one of the best archives in, in the area of letterpress. Like, this is like people who've, you know, closed down and they've, they've you know, gifted these to right, us. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got wow. a really good collection here. Um, but what people used to do was they'd set up, um, you know, they'd have the words and then they'd have to get the letters and put them in backwards. Um, really, it took a long time to do and if there were any changes, they'd have to go in and, and fix that. But it was, it was that kind of process. Cool. That is properly old. It, it takes forever. Yeah. So these are just really These are the letters. This is quite a quirky font here as well. Yeah. It's, that's an L. Um, but they've got more conventional fonts as well. Elsewhere. Yeah. But these days people use this for, um, I guess, posters like this. So that would have been made through that. It's quite yeah. impressive, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. And these are the presses here that people use to create them. So um, I think they end up putting the image like that there. And then the um, you put paper through this and it rolls, and it rolls through, over. Yeah, and it just kind of presses the paper. And I think the aim of it is to not get too much of an indentation in the paper. Um, but to still kind of mark it. It's like maybe thinking about even the paper quality and the style and... Yeah. You can definitely um, create something similar to a newspaper with the screen printing process. Yeah, yeah so we and might. As long as you print onto it. We've got some tissue paper. It's actually called, called newsprint. <laughs> and and gloss, glossy magazines are another quality, aren't they, I suppose? Yeah, totally, yeah. It's not the first time, I mean, I've got a load of respect for Andy Warhol, and he's probably the, the original factory, uh, it's the original mm -hmm. factory, really. Um, and yet it's still got his stamp, you know, you can kind of really tell what his work is. That was that kind of was part of his project, wasn't it? The kind of, yeah. the arguments around he's mass production. Guy. Yeah, totally. And he, he started out as a graphic artist. Um, and he felt a lot of pressure. He wasn't taken seriously as an artist because he, because of his background. Mm. Um, so he had to kind of, I mean, I think screen printing worked really well for him as well because he could get the message across and it was something that people weren't doing at the time. And, yeah. I mean, he even had thought that thought before about kind of maybe Andy Warholing 
these kind of like trashy newspapers or something and or messing about with them kind of that way or at least maybe referring somehow to his project. Some sort of reference, yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's so it's really powerful. powerful. Yeah. yeah. You know, especially when you repeat stuff and that's what screen printing mm. does so well. So yeah. We should take advantage of that. There was, an, there was another thing um, that I remember. I don't think I saw the original, but certainly in an art magazine, like that Sarah Lucas did Sounds something cool. about, um, I think it was about kind of people who with kind of disabilities or really different bodies, kind of maybe, I think they were small or dwarfs, or whatever, you know, okay, it's like yeah. shocking kind of language. Is she a photographer? She, she was more of a con con conceptual artist, really, from Goldsmiths Sorry. back in the 90s, I think. And... Um, I don't know what she did, but it was really, I think it was quite crappily done in some ways, like right. f literally like photocopying and putting kind of putting it on the wall sort of thing. Right. But um, something again, like speaking that language back yeah. within an arts framework, it, it to kind of it. changes it, yeah, yeah, and asks questions, I think. It'd be, it'd be interesting to explore that, definitely.